Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to transform frequency distribution to proportion and percentages. Okay. If you notice, this is the scores that we get from our data or from the information that we gather and we label it as X. And this is the frequency. F represents frequency meaning how many times these score 10 appears on the data on the information. So when we add all these frequency, we will get 20, meaning there are 20 scores in the entire information or entire pool of data that we have received. So what do we do here is we transform the frequencies into proportion. So we are changing the format. Okay. So how do we get the proportion? It is the frequency divided by the n. n is the total observation that we have in the data. So frequency over n. So 2 over 20 is 0 0.10. 5 divided by 20 0 0.25. 7 divided by 20 0 0.35. So you do that for the entire list of scores that you have. So when you add all these proportion you should get 1. Okay, so what we are trying to do here is we are changing the format of the frequency. Now, what can we do next? From proportion, actually, we can calculate the percentages. So, from the frequencies, we are changing to percentage. So, how do we get the percentage? So, it is the proportion multiplied by 100. So, we already calculated the proportion here, right? So, we can convert it to percentage. So, we are multiplying with 100 so you will get 10 percent 0 0.25 multiplied by 100 you get 25 percent and so on until the last 0 0.05 multiplied by 100 so you have 5 percent when you add all the percentages you will get 100 percent so what is important here when even though we change the frequency into proportions or into percentages how no matter how information is being transferred it will tell the same story what does that mean based on the frequency what is the most occurring or most frequently um, observed score it is score 8 because it has the highest frequency number 7 so it's 7 times that number 8 appears in the data set or in the data so is the what does the proportion tell us? Which one, which of the scores has the highest proportion? Number 8 because it has 0 0.35. When you look at the percentage, which one has the highest percentage? Number score 8. Score 8 has 35% of the data consists of score 8. So basically even if you get your frequency or your proportion or percentages, it tells the same story that score 8 is the most um, occurring value or uh, most occurring data in your data set. Thank you.